The transitional government of national unity was designed to steer the oil-rich volatile nation for three years and organize a national election before its expiry. War broke out in the young nation just two months down the road and the future of the unity government is now hard to predict. According to Mabio, there is no more government of national unity. A brief statement on his Facebook page reads, For those asking me to resign to avoid being sacked, I can tell you that the government has already been overthrown. I salute the courage of Dr. Lama Ko in resigning from the National Alliance and from the leadership of the Democratic Party. There is, however, no need to resign as Minister of Agriculture and Food Security. The government in Juba is already illegitimate. Garang San also described the replacement of Dr. Masha with the Minister for Mining, General Taban Dengai, as a coup. Recently, General Taban was selected by three ministers in the Macha opposition movement to replace the latter that is in hiding as the first vice president. President Ki consequently passed decree appointing General Taban as his deputy. There are now widespread fears that ministers from the SPLAIO still supporting Masha are going to be sacked by the new leader. Some of Masha's allies have been asked to resign before General Taban acts on them. Mabio is, however, with a different version of thought. He says, I will not dignify the Taban coup with a resignation. It will not be an embarrassment to be sacked by an illegitimate government. On Monday, still, the agriculture minister, Dr. Lama, resigned and fled from Juba to the Sudanese capital Khartoum. Dr. Rakol, who is also leader of opposition SPLMDC party, said the government of unity is no more and those who challenge the faction of Ki can only do so from abroad.